Good morning, good morning. It's Monday, everyone's favourite day. Not really. Bloody Monday. So, uh, not sure what's going on this week. Something on the camera. There we go. No, wait, wait, wait. I think I just made it worse. There we go. Um, so, obviously, we'll be with Peen today. She's doing, she's, um, she's got dancing later, I think. It's the last dancing. She's still not showing you any dancing because she allegedly can't find a studio or get a studio or something. She thinks she's just making excuses, to be honest. Um, obviously, I'm off to work as well. And we'll see you later, really, because Peen won't be home till late. So, um, I'll leave you in her capable hands. I'll see you later. The Brit Vlog. Nine cat approved. So finally today the Christmas tree has arrived for the office. So I can finally get it looking a little bit Christmassy in here. Um, <laughs> apart from the one which <laughs> which I've put up on the desk. Um, well, the tree was supposed to arrive apparently last Wednesday and that was even delayed. Um, this was supposed to be my eBay bargain but I'm not, I mean obviously it was a dead cheap tree so I wasn't expecting much with regards to quality of the tree but the service has been really bad because she didn't post it for over a week and then um, like although it's not really the seller's fault this bit but the courier couldn't find the business address. It's a business address, it's um, you know, it's not like some obscure residential house or anything. And it was supposed to come last Wednesday, um, but apparently the driver couldn't find us, and so no one bothered to notify me. And it was only after I um, complained to the seller on Saturday that um, she gave me the tracking information so I could actually like ring up and say even the tracking information was um, was wrong because it said they tried to deliver on the Friday which would have been uh, the 7th and so I rang them up just to double check that they would be re-delivering on Monday um, and they said oh well actually um, they tried to deliver on Wednesday, but no one was there, so it's just been held at the depot ever since. So I don't know why they have to lie on their um, tracking information. So I thought that was a bit naughty. So that was Collect Plus, which is like, um, like it's bargain courier delivery, basically. Um, I don't use it personally for my own parcels. I've used some of the cheaper ones in the past. Um like um, yodel and things and it's just the service has been awful and although it, as a seller it's not like you can't really do much about it it's that you're the only person that the um, customers can complain to so your reputation suffers and so it's not worth like the pound saving or however much it is um use a proper career um we've got um I've got quite a good relationship with their local courier company and they send it on with um, a, well, a more well-known courier and um, generally I haven't had any problems with them so I'm quite happy with that. Um, I wouldn't use any of the, the cheap bargain ones myself even for personal use because they're just not, it's not worth it. Like um, the times that I have tried it like getting a collection is impossible, like you book it in, they don't turn up. So then you're sat with the parcel for days. If it's at home, you're obviously you're sat waiting in. Um, and then meantime, you've got this person that's paid for the items and they can't get them. Um, and so it's not worth it. But anyway, um, not that impressed with the tree. It's supposed to be a five foot one. It's not five foot. I think it's a four foot tree. Um, but I mean, we're on the 10th of December now. We've only got two weeks, two weeks, um, of work time before Christmas so I can't faff around anymore I'm just putting it up um, because otherwise what's the point in having the blooming tree in the first place um, so I've got it out it's not as bad as I was expecting quality wise I've bought like a load of tinsel because I thought like I'd have to pad out like um, bare branches and things but it's not too bad though it's just shorter than I think it's supposed to be um, but so um, 
unfortunately I'm going to have to decorate the office in Christmas stuff whilst being paid for it. Terrible. Hi! Pin's home. I only got home um, at 8 o'clock. I got home like... oh balls. I got home uh, just, <coughs> just before the peen did. Because um, I'm late at work, problems at work. So I'll do a bit more work as well later, which is a bit annoying. <coughs> just turning on the old lighty lights. Because that now looks pretty. Err. And then we're going to do the box. Because today, it's not for a rush and lolly. Whoop! Hi! Um, it's not funny saying hi. It is when it's unnatural. You could just be like, hi. Beans like... <coughs> Sorry for saying hi. Hi. Right, let's start again. Hi. Yeah, that's more like Pete. That's Pete. <laughs> that's the Pete Eric noise. <laughs> oh, so finally home. Um, it's been one of those days, like for both of us, I think, actually, to be fair. Um, just um, this morning, for me at least, started off like crazy. And. Crazy! It was, it was crazy. Um, like completely manic and I was like so knackered and I was like all out of breath and oh like then like the phone was like ringing like how dare people ring what? you know the phone was ringing <laughs> yeah <laughs> um and then um then we've had a slight hiccup um we won't go into into detail because it's um it's not that exciting but I had a slight hiccup um with a family member um, are you opening that box what? without what? me being in the film? What? What? Anyway, um, yeah, and Aidan, as I think he sort of mentioned earlier, has not had, like, that good of a day at work. Um, anyway, he's got his box now, so it's a good thing to show. I got my box number ten! Look, number two ten. digits! What do you think it is today? It does sound mm, like a fair Russian lolly, mm. but Maybe it's, not, messed up. it's not scheduled to be that. It's not scheduled. <laughs> no. So, we don't know what's going to go on here. I don't think of them. I mean, basically, if this turns out to be a fair rush and a lolly, the universe will just implode <laughs> itself. <clears throat> oh, perhaps he's having a look. Let's go. They're my advent boxes. Are yours? See what's next. Why is everyone? It's a... <laughs> it's like a surprise every day for me. I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's a tiny Rubik's Cube! <laughs> a teeny tiny one. That's the type of Rubik's Cube I can do though. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I can manage that. <laughs> and there was also a bonus Ferrero Rocher I think I saw. Yeah? A bonus Ferrero Rocher. Because it was a, like, a mini gift, like a small one. Yes. We haven't done the ball thing, we haven't forgotten we will do the ball thing, but we've yes. just been busy. I want to play with Rubik's Cube, it looks amazing. I think it's like a lot, a lot easier than the proper. Well, one. obviously, <laughs> but it still looks like still I'm struggle. going to be confused. Right, there you go. It's all mixed up. So tomorrow, hopefully, I will have completed it for you. Okay, if we'll I've see. What the hell are you doing? He's coming to have a look. He thinks maybe there's That's some ham. That's my Ferrero Rocher. You want Ferrero Rocher? Cat's like he wants to go in that box. I don't think you fit in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, my phone! The cat's being weird. Oh, oh. Where you going, Peps? Being weird. Bye. Cat's gone. What are you doing? Seeing what you're doing. Got some ice cream. I could use Buzz Head. <laughs> Tired, are you tired? Pesca said you haven't done it for all day. Uh, Pesca lies to you, we've been through this before. Oh. Mm -hmm. He keeps texting me though. No, he doesn't text you because he doesn't have a phone. He does. Or thumbs. He does have thumbs, they're just like <laughs> not far, really too far from his hands. They're like here on his wrist, so he has to be like. So he just texts you to say every day that I haven't yeah. done anything? Yeah, he texts and he's like, 
watching Peen again. It's pretty boring. Sodor. It's pretty boring tech subjects. Yeah, but the cat's not that intelligent, so it's just like that's all he does. He's interested in what you're doing, mm. which happens to be nothing. <clears throat> right. Weird. Hello, I'm Mr. Robin. Hello, hello. Mr. Robin sounds strange. <laughs> Hello, I'm very special, Mr. Robin. <clears throat> He's cute, though. He's cute. Wish you had a real pet Robin instead of that. That's crap. I like Robins. Robin. Me too. I like Robin. Anyway, it's time to code the video. <clears throat> We're tired because we got in late. So there'll be more exciting, riveting things tomorrow. Oh, but you know what I did manage to do today? Sort out the new PAYE thing. Finally. I had to ring them. I spent hours last week trying to work this thing out. And then today, I'm like, oh great, it's, like, it's fine now, it'll be fine. Because it's past the date. It does exactly the same error as it did last week. So I was like, sort it and ring him. That wonderful story will be available in paperback and hardback <laughs> from uh, early 20. Yes, well, it, it's it's like it's, it's sorted. So I feel I have a good for you. Something good for you. During this, shut up. I'm trying to finish the vlog. Monday day. Shh. Shh.